Welcome, thanks for joining me. This session is around value from a customer's perspective. And from a business perspective, we need to acknowledge that the customer is nearly always right. I know uh, my daughter always used to tell us that, um, that not, that's not necessarily the case. But if you want to ensure that you become a, a, a first choice provider in any, either in products or services, then we do have to acknowledge that the customer is nearly always right. So from a customer's point of view, I tend to break it up into, into the value triangle. Now, I don't know whether you've heard of the value triangle before, but I'd say it's a really important concept. So the value tri triangle is defined as at, four po at three points. The first one is price, the next one's quality, and this one's convenience, or location, or, um, or access. From a business's perspective, the customer will always look at our products and services and say, okay, is it well priced? Is the quality adequate? And I don't really worry so much about the convenience. What we need to understand from a business perspective is that we can only ever provide two of these. We can provide quality and price, we can provide price and convenience, or we can provide quality and convenience. It is extremely difficult to meet all of those three criteria. Now, the reason I say this is because as, you will, as a business owner, we will always have to compromise on one of, the, one of the three. And even as a customer, we quite often will have to compromise on one of the three as well. And to give you an example, I know that there was a major civil construction done in uh, Brisbane a number of years ago. And the, the construction company set out the contract price. Fair enough. They won the tender to, to build the, the infrastructure. And then as the, the project progressed over time, they had a number of delays. And they were caused by weather delays and those sorts of usual things that we get when we have a, a project which runs over a period of time. However, the issue that they had was they had performance um, KPIs which meant that they had to deliver the, product, the project within a certain time frame. And once they moved beyond the time frame, there was a dollar penalty, and a, quite a significant dollar penalty. So up until when the completion date was, everything was going according to plan. But as the time blew out due to these circumstances, that meant that they were extending that contract over a longer period of time beyond the completion date and that cost them a lot of, was going to cost them a lot of money so what they did when they first introduced the tender it was all around price and quality that was what they were pr proposing to deliver as it came about that this became a real issue from a penalty perspective they forgot about the dollars because all around the deliverables. So the price of the, from the business perspective was that it, the dollars went through the roof. They actually lost, I won't say lost money, but they certainly had to reduce profit margin because they threw a lot of money at this little bit down here to try to ensure that they've completed the project within that time frame. So from a business perspective, we will find that customers, our customers, will quite often have a different perspective depending upon their own circumstances and the time that they approach you. Because, for example, a person might come to you and say, look, I really want a really a, a good, a top quality vehicle and I'm prepared to pay this. Fair enough, not a problem. Now, it might be a case that if they want to pay a, 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 high, a, a higher price, they might be able to get that vehicle now. But if they want to prepare to pay a lower price, they might wait for six or 12 months to get it. So that's where we're compromising, depending on how, well, our own circumstances, whether we want to go and do something. So from a business perspective, it's really important that we understand this value so that when it comes to negotiating with our customers, we know where they stand and how we can compromise our capability to deliver. So if, if for example, they come to us and they're all around dollars in quality, and then you can say, and then they'll say, well, I want it tomorrow. We can say, well, I'm sorry, but we can't do it tomorrow because we don't have the resources to be able to deliver. However, if you prepared to wait, we can do it for this price and deliver that quality. However, remembering that it's around that convenience thing, and if I want it tomorrow, well then we're looking at the quality and the convenience. 
So you, you, you're sacrificing the price, so the price of the product will go up, but you're maintaining the quality and you're delivering convenience. So that's how we need to look at it from a, a customer's perspective to ensure that we provide value to our customers. So thank you very much. If you want to give me a call, my contact details are john at c2csolutions.com.au or you can give me a call on 0427 008657 or if you're on our website, just drop us a line through our contact page and I'll give you a call and we can have a discussion. Thank you very much. Bye.